Hi everyone, welcome back to Abra Knowledge Channel. Today we are going to discuss about U chart. U chart you all know average of occurrences per unit. And U chart and C chart both charts are used to identify how much defect rate. Whereas the other chart which we in the previous video which we discussed that is P chart and NP chart are being used to identify how many defectives we have so now the the tenth version of this excel the six sigma this also happened to be a tenth video of six sigma using excel and uh, this is going to be very very interesting so in this video we're going to talk about u chart and using both the samples one is fixed sample one is variable sample and the speciality about this chart is we are going to do it in excel at the same time we are going to compare with many tab also as well please stay tuned till the end you will get amazing piece of information let's hop on so let's start with this one these are all the shipment uh, details I have there are 25 shipment details and these are all the unit the unit is one and two and so on right these are a number of flaws what we have right these are number flaws is nothing but defects like these are all the defects are there right and then flaws per unit or in other word u chart what we need to do is we need to in, uh, in apply the formula right so this is number of defects divided by how much unit we have so that means one unit has got 47 defect like this i'm just keep dragging that one and take an example of this one so 100 defects of in two unit that means each unit will carry of 50 flaws let's talk about in the other number the whole uh, in totality so total numbers total sample this is the total samples and we have 32 samples we have total defect these are all the defects 1544 very huge defects right flaws per because we cannot do a division because the numerator and denominator are different like one and two we should not do the division so what i took i took the sum value summation of uh, the column b and c then we can divide it how we can divide it the f2 f2 is nothing but total number of defects divided by total samples right total sample 32 so that means 48 percentage we have the defects one unit right has got 48 defects as such so let's talk about when you do that in the one and two the variable sample what many tab does is many tab tries to find out what the maximum value so in this case the maximum value is two right so it tries to takes that two value and then this is the formula for the limits this is the center line that is uh, this is what we're talking about u bar that is average 48.2 we have defects let's talk about this is per unit right so the count sample count per unit that means each sample contain 48 uh, defects per unit that, that's a very very huge uh, defects right so let's talk about the formula how to calculate the lc and ucl lcl stand for lower control limit and upper control limit lower control limit of u chart u bar plus 3 root of u bar by n n as i said that this is the n value and exactly if you want to do lcl u bar minus 3 root of u bar by n the same formula i have applied here as you can see here so the same thing uh, so you can see g2 g2 is nothing but so 48.25 right that is g2 so uh, and then plus sorry minus 3 square root of g2 divided by h2 right g2 by h2 total number sample now you got this the same formula i am just copying it and pasting here but only thing is i am just giving it as plus right instead of minus i would like to give plus because we are talking about ucl So here I have I need to give plus so 62.99 that means so how to interpret this chart 
so the sample each unit has got 48 defects the lowest value is 33 the highest value is 62.99 that's what this chart has to say and the same thing you also have a minimum value that is one and if you go with the minimum value you have 27.41 it comes here and then 33 and then lower is 69 we have 69 will come somewhere here right so you can see here the same thing will do it this is variable sample right at the same time we'll do that constant we'll just apply everything as one right let's do that so again total sample is the combination of this thing 25 and the defects is 1544 and then per unit this is sim simply divide total defect by samples 61 uh, defects and then n equal to 1 the max here the max is 1 and the lcl the same formula i have applied here so g2 that is uh, g2 in this case u bar minus 3 root of u bar by n exactly the same formula i have applied for the plus ucl now we got it now let's compare the same value whether we are getting it in many tab right so what i'm doing is i'm just i have just copy pasted this value here in this let me close all the file let me do it one more time these are the shipment details this is a unit this is a floss and uh, and then you don't need to calculate all these one unit floss per unit because the mini tab will do it by itself and then the the same the second example i also have that is unit in the variable let's go to the stat and you need to go to the control chart in the control chart this is we are talking about defect and defective those are called attribute data and then you have something called u chart and in this the briefing comes when you just hover the point cursor there stat and then quality tools sorry control charts and attributes and then this is the u chart in the u chart monitor the number of defects per unit use when each item can have a multiple defects right so you can click that one and this is floss and then what i'm doing is and i'm just using that variable sample right so this is the variable c4 i'm just using it i'll give okay no we have got like 48 uh, count and then minimum is 33 and maximum is 62 exactly the same value we got in excel also as well the same value 33 as you can see here exactly the same value we have got so 48.25 the same value here 33.51 33.51 and then 62.99 62 exactly the same mimic we got it in many tab let's do the second example where what i'm doing is i'll give control e just to go back to the previous one and the flaw i will keep it as same that is uh, c3 instead of variable i'm gonna keep it like unit that is constant sample so let me give okay now you'll get the flat line because no variable in the sample right you'll get the flat line and then you can compare this one 61 point the second example where it, it talks about 61.76 exactly the same thing minimum lcl 38.18 38.18 and the max is 85.34 85.34 i hope you enjoyed this video and this video gives you more insightful on u chart please stay tuned and we'll be further making the videos and giving you a lot many insightful please do like share subscribe my channel you have wonderful day ahead